Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial in OpenFOAM. In this video we're gonna work on wing motion of airplanes. So here we have for example airplane. What we want to do is to work on the this wing motion. So let's start. This tutorial will be uh, will be decomposed on three parts. In the first part, we will generate the mesh using SnapEx mesh and block mesh. The second part will be uh, about the simulation and steady state using the solver simple form. Then the third sim the third part will be uh, concerning the simulation in uh, NSTD state using pimple from solver. So let's now start. Let's open a terminal. Then go to tutorial. Copy. Uh, let's look for uh, for the directory of this tutorial. It's it's called. Let's check. So here it is an incompressible pimple res wing motion. So we will copy this directory in our tutorial directory. So here we have our folder. We have three folders here. This is for the machine, the first part. This is for simple form, the steady state simulation. And this is for the unsteady state simulation. This is to clean these folders. To uh, The first one is to open the first folder, then clean the case, clean every mesh and every uh, supplementary folder. Uh, also for the second and the third, then remove uh, then remove the uh, the initial conditions in order to generate new ones before every simulation. And for the all run, this is just to discover with you uh, what kind of commands are executed in order to get uh, to get this tutorial set. So the first is to run the mesh, the second one concerning the simple form parts, and the third one concerning the uh, the pimple form. And since the unsteady state is uh, computationally uh, very very consuming, so the case is decomposed and treated in parallel run in parallel then reconstructed using reconstruct part so we will see all of these details in uh, the the third part so let's start now with the first part which is the snappy x mesh the mesh generation so now we will get in this folder so here uh, just to have an idea about the snappy hex mesh how does it work so we have an STL file or uh, OBG file here in constant tree surface dot OBG. We can actually visualize this uh, using Paraview. I'll just get to uh, the tutorial. <coughs> Wing motion, wing motion again, snappy X mesh. Okay, then I'll run per view. And I'll open constant tree surface, apply, and here is the wing. So we want to study the the flow 
around this wing. So uh, the flow will be introduced from here and we will get the forces applied in this part and so on. So we have at first we have this tree surface here and we have also block mesh dict and snappy eggs mesh, eggs mesh dict sorry so these are the main files that we need to see at in order to generate the mesh for the block mesh dict it concerns this part when we have the STL surface here we have a car we need to get this like uh, square and with dimensions x y and z of course must be uh, must be upper than the stl surface in order to get the stl in this square or cube depending on 2d or 3d case so for the uh, let's keep it open in order to get more information So here I'll activate the grid. Okay, perfect. So we have we have our uh, our wing. X is from zero to one, and then Y from I think it's not very clear here. It's from zero okay this is zero this is zero so it's from minus zero one to zero one so in the uh, in the block mesh we are constructing our mesh the x from minus one point two to 5 and the y is from minus 2.2 to 2.2 and for the z direction we are keeping it really small in order to minimize the uh, the time of the simulation then we are composing our domain simply with simple gradient 1 1 1 so uh, it won't, it, uh, all the cell all the cells ha will have the same dimensions then the decomposition of uh, x will be done on 36 cells of the y on 24 cells and for z it will be just one division so let's run at first the uh, the block mesh So run block mesh. Here we have the square where we will uh, where we will put our wing. So I execute our form. Here we have the square. I'll just choose surface with edge <laughs> with edge. So this is the decomposition of the domain. So what we will do is to introduce the wing right here and then generate another mesh. This is the part of the snappy eggs mesh file. So now let's start doing it. Snappy eggs mesh. Uh, the first option is let's keep this false and this false. I'll explain this later. So, uh, castellated mesh too. What we want to do is actually getting out the STL surface. It's like we will start here. I don't know if, yes. And then we will extract the car and keep only the outer mesh of the surface. This is the idea of Snappy X mesh. So, here uh, it's true. 
then I'll, I'll uh, talk later about these two uh, features. Then for the geometry, it will be uh, the wing, then it's the type of it. Then the file, it will be uh, looking, this file will look for this name located in uh, wing motion constant. So we need to uh, create a folder here called tree surface and put our and put our uh, file lot obg so here it is then the refinement box where uh, where we want to refine i will uh, show you the uh, this refinement after executing this map in hex mesh then these details concerning really uh, a deep deep features about the quality of the mesh for example here controlling the snap controlling the added layers these two features in the, the first in the, the first lines then here the the mesh quality the orthogonality the max boundary skewness and you can set all all the setup of your mesh your exigence if you are uh, looking for example for requirements if you are uh, looking for uh, non-orthogonality uh, at maximum of 50 you just go uh, here and uh, to uh, change this parameter sorry then here the tetrahedral quality then uh, the minimum area of a cell it's here equal to zero one so it will be it's disabled we don't have minimum area uh, already set, so it will be automatic. And then you can find other parameters, advanced parameters that you can tune uh, as function of your need. So now let's start and keep it like this. So, and run. I'll run snap X mesh then I will run paraphone apply and here we have our wing motion removed from this uh, square that we generated using the block mesh so i'll do surface with edge for the refinements uh, the refinement box it's this area in fact so we are refining our mesh when we are near the wing motion in order to to catch uh, the right behavior around this uh, this wing so here we can see that it's not very perfect here the cut of the wing we have these imperfections so in order to get this layer really smooth and perfect we just need to i uh, i close this and we will go here and it's called this property is called snap so snap is rendering your uh, rendering this surface perfect is like um, reducing the imperfections of the mesh using the snappy x mesh so we will uh, turn on this feature by snap true so here we have some snap control number of the smoothness the tolerance and you can go and look for your uh, parameters. If it's not perfect with default ones, you can just go and check each parameter. So for us, we will run it here. I'll uh, at first remove the created folder, then I'll run it again snappy eggs mesh it will take more times than than the first command because we added a new feature which is snap it will take time
So let's verify now. So now, as you can see, it's very smooth. It's perfect smooth here with the snapping of the wing. It's perfect. So, but we have a problem. If you can see here near this layer, we have here a triangle. We have here square. So uh, the mesh near this boundary isn't that perfect, isn't very appropriate to catch the real behavior near the one the wing sorry so what we want to do is to add layers in order to catch velocity uh, pressure and so on the turbulence properties also so what we need to do is to add layers parallel to these boundaries to this boundary in order to get it smoother so we will add, we will activate this add layers to true. Then here we have add layers control where in the wing, how, how many, three. Then the expansion ratio, the thickness of the, the final layer, the minimal thickness and also other parameters that you may assign when uh, adding new layers so uh, let's remove the other created folders created previously and snappy eggs mesh again It takes mm, too much time compared with the previous commands since we are adding new features. So, Pyroform again, apply surface with edges. So, this is the first command then. In the second the smoothness then the third one is when having as you can see here three layers around the wing so this is very important to set up when uh, when we want to catch the behavior near boundaries especially the turbulence because it's um, when the um, the viscous the viscous parameters it's uh, really important to get smooth really small layers near the boundary in order to get more uh, accuracy and uh, more precision so this is all for uh, the snappy hex mesh in the next part i will show you how to how to simulate the flow around this wing we will be introducing velocity here then we will treat the behavior and the velocity pressure and the turbulence properties around this wing so see you in next part